I'd like to share some tips and tricks that I use to knit the center 90 of the Baby Surprise Jacket by Elizabeth Simmer. What makes the center 90 tricky is picking up the stitches along the edge so that it looks seamless and not having a break in your garter. I'm going to show the steps that I use to knit the center 90 that make it straightforward. There's three stages. The first stage is just setting up so that you have only 90 stitches on your needles. The second stage is actually adding that length to the jacket. And the third stage is picking up those stitches. So you'll need two pieces of waste yarn to put your stitches on hold that you'll later be picking up along the edge. And then you'll need two other pieces of waste yarn uh, to use as we knit the center 90 so that it's easier to pick up the stitches and make them seamless. I've created this diagram to help us as we knit. The lines correspond to rows and we will start in the top left and work our way down through the center with the outside rows coming last. You probably have something very similar in your pattern. Once you finish that 79th row and you have 158 stitches on your needles, you're ready to start the setup stage. The setup involves making sure that you only have 90 stitches on your working needles and the rest are on waist yarn. First row on the setup, we're going to knit across and then we're going to stop 34 stitches short, put those 34 stitches on waist yarn, knit back across again, and put the remaining 34 stitches on waist yarn. There's a trick involved when we turn our work that makes the center 90 easy. So let's just do one row and then we'll get to what that trick is. And I'm going to finish on that stitch around what I did my increases between my two stitch markers. I can actually get rid of my stitch markers now. Great, and I'm gonna place these remaining stitches on my waist yarn. And I gathered my supplies. I like to use a tapestry needle. Just take the waist yarn and then I just thread it through the stitches and that makes it really easy. We just finished putting our waist yarn through our, our 34 stitches. And now we're gonna pull out the needle. Awesome. So these stitches are officially on hold and we're getting ready to turn our work for the first time. Remember when we turn our work, we do something special so that it makes it easier for us to pick up the stitches later. And what that is, is we're gonna use our waste yarn and as we turn our work, we're going to actually catch this waste yarn in with our working yarn and this will create almost stitches on the waste yarn that we can pick up. So there will be 10 turns per side because we're gonna pick up 10 stitch steps to doing something special is first we turn our work then we take the working yarn and we move it to the front this is where our waste yarn comes in we're gonna drape it over the needle so that it runs parallel to our working yarn and is draped over the needle then we're gonna take our working yarn and we're gonna move it from the front to the back and you can see here that our working yarn has actually caught this waist yarn. It's created this little stitch on our waist yarn and that's exactly what we want. That's what we're gonna use to pick up our stitches. Now that we have that ready, we're ready to knit our first stitch. So the first caught yarn is gonna look a little weird, but it'll look better later. So we now have it caught. Um, if you really tug on it, you'll be able to see that there's just one uh, one piece of thread that it's caught and then that is our stitch that we're gonna pick up. Great, now we're gonna complete the setup and in our second row, we're gonna knit 90 stitches and then place the remaining 34 stitches on waist yarn, similar to what we did before. We finished stage one and we have 90 stitches on our working needles with the remainder on waist yarn. And now you can actually kind of fold your jacket. So you do that by bringing those two live stitches sides together. You can kind of see how your little jacket's gonna form. Let's move on to stage two, which is working the nine, center 90 to add the length to the jacket. That's gonna involve pleating 18 rows going in garter stitch. And every time we turn our work, making sure to catch the yarn in our waist yarn. To keep track, we're gonna end on our right side row. I'd like to show one more time how to catch the yarn. Step one, turn your work. Step two, take your working yarn move it to the front. Step three, take your waist yarn, drape it over the needle so that it lies over, similar to like a stitch. Step four, move your yarn from front to back. I'll see you guys after these 18 rows are done. Oh, 
All right, we just finished row 18 of stage two, row 99 of our BSJ, and it was a right side row that we finished on. That's important so we don't break our garter. Also, a way to check that we've done the right number of rows is we should have nine caught stitches on the side that we just finished on, and then we should have 10 caught stitches on the other side. And we're gonna wanna even these up. We're gonna wanna have 10 caught stitches on either side. So when we turn our work to start stage three, we're gonna wanna make sure to catch one more stitch. Okay, so now we can start stage three, which is the exciting stage. That's where we put it, all our hard work together. As I mentioned, we're gonna turn our work one more time and we're gonna knit back across these 90 stitches, making sure to catch one more stitch in our waist yarn. Then we're going to knit into these stitches that we've caught along here. So picking up those 10 stitches along the edge, and then we're going to knit those 34 stitches that we have on hold. And then we get to just do the same thing for the other side. And knit across those top 90 stitches. And now I'm going to pick up those 10 bumps. And I like to treat the waist yarn like a needle. So I'll take my actual needle and I'll just put it in the spot where the waist yarn is, like thread it through the stitch. And then I knit into that stitch and it makes it really easy. And I'll just do one more. Awesome. After picking up those 10 stitches that were caught by your waist yarn, you'll have this cute little corner to your work. And now you can begin knitting those stitches that you put on hold. We've now connected that first side and you can see we came from here, rounded that corner, picked up those stitches and then knitted those stitches that were on hold. This is kind of when you can kind of see the jacket really starting to come together and you and you fall in love with your project. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the waist yarn on this side. We've got that last row and we're just gonna repeat what we did on the other side. I'm knitting all the way across till we get to that part where we're gonna have to pick up those caught stitches and knit into those live stitches. After picking up that last set of stitches, you've now got this cute little jacket. The Ravelry Wiki page contains written instructions on how to pick up the 90 stitches as well as alternatives to the method that I've given. If you found this tutorial useful, please subscribe for similar content. Please tag me on Instagram as I'd love to see all the baby surprise jackets you create. And best of luck with your projects.